Hello guys, it's me, Wom. Today I'm here to uh, talk about the completely unjustified permanent ban that I received a week ago in game. Uh, and uh, to give you more context about what happened and uh, why it was completely unjustified. So, uh, for the last couple months, I've been playing on Arthur's server, the, mon the new mono server, and I'm having a ton of fun. I really like Blast with my friends, with my guild. Uh, and we've been like uh, having a good time at PVMing and uh, you know enjoy the game. Uh, but uh, we had like a, a couple like uh, interactions we can say with like uh, players in uh, like in game because uh, we really enjoy pack PVP, uh, the demonic packs you know the wild savage supposedly PVP system that Ankama uh, imp implemented into Makfu a couple of years ago with the loot bonus that it uh, brings along with it and the chance of you losing your loot. So, uh, as you could expect, uh, people could uh, like uh, get salty and uh, debates could get heated when you uh, have your loot on the line and uh, it could get stolen by other people. So that's what happens. We are the hunters and there is other people which we attack and we usually attack everybody because we are a hunter guild and that's a, a very part of the game that we like very enjoy and have a lot of fun doing but because of it a lot of people start to draw hatred towards us uh, specifically like uh, some certain people which uh, like what we believe resulted in our ban because they did a mass wave of reports against us which resulted in our permanent ban like uh, like just specifically targeted by by like our guild and like few other people uh, who like got also banned outside of our, uh, like outside of the guild but uh, like um, the whole idea is just getting us banned like uh, us bloodline in our server getting us out of the game so uh, what happened is um, we used an interaction in game that involves two innies like uh, the new reworked in pressa class it has something called propagator you know when you heal or when you damage it depends on your build like if you want to heal with it if you want to damage with it it's like you, you build propagator so uh, that propagator can like you can involve a passive that turns that propagator into a delayed propagator, which is basically a poison, a poison effect that does over da uh, like over time damage on the target that you apply the delayed propagator on. It had an interaction that could stack that propagator with two innies up to nine hundred and twenty. The cap was put by Ankama when they reworked the Inipressa. It's a very high cap. I don't like uh, why it was so high. But it dealt very high damage. With two innies, you could stack that fully every single turn and keep applying it. It was a, like it was an odd interaction. It was pretty strong, and uh, we used it in our uh, Rushu team to do very high, very good scores, uh, up to um, I believe nineteen point six million. That was our highest score, I believe. Uh, we did that score, and people from certain like certain people were very salty they didn't uh, enjoy uh, seeing us completely dominating pvm and pvp they didn't take it well so they started mass reporting us supposedly because we are abusing a bug uh, that bug is like supposedly bug is nothing more than an interaction between uh, two innies in the same team which is capped by a camera 920 propagator uh, it's it's a pretty solid damage it's really strong i get it but it is not clearly a bug and we never treated it as a bug we treated it as, like we treated it as a niche interaction and uh, that's how we played with it like you know like uh, you know uh, a new reworked class what does people do with it they try different things to find niche interactions so they enjoy the excitement of trying to find these new strategies to use them in game like uh, what are people supposed to do like uh, 
they try the new class and they do new strategies and they implement it inside of their fights in PvP and PvM, depends on what they prefer. So uh, this resulted in our ban, like a huge ban wave that wiped out half my guild, up to like uh, two, like 15 people or something, like, uh, like even more. Like anybody who had two innies in their team and they used, and they used Propagator, they got wiped out. <coughs> like two weeks, three days, some of them, they got banned, they got hit with a ban. Us, the number one Roshu team, we got hit by a permanent ban, we got wiped out completely. Me and five other friends who were completely like uh, playing right, we just uh, grouped up, did our run, we were full builds, we did or like uh, a score within reason, above average, yes, but within reason, and we just did well using an interaction that Ankama put into the game, but we got banned for it. Our score, supposedly with bug abusing score, got beaten up by, an, by the team who reported us, supposedly. And they did better than us playing in the game, normally. Which really like m makes you feel that ban is completely unjust. Cause um, we like, personally, I like I believe, we are a victim of uh, mass reports and just target reports. Uh, we believe like the person who resulted in our ban, the mod, the admin, the like who, like whoever it is, I believe they are completely disconnected from the game. Like they don't know what's going on. They don't understand or like they don't play the game on a competitive level. Like, like I personally do. I played this game for a while. I played a lot, like a lot of strategies. I like I used a lot of broken strategies. Uh, like the simplest example, uh, we like we used for a while uh, Ilio, old Ilio on like it used to wipe a whole room out on status fifty. A whole room gets exploded, and um, you put this side to side with the any poison, which you have to stack, and you have two innies to implement it. You just like see the difference. How can I know that Ilio is uh, labeled as uh, like working as intended while any is a game breaking bug that could result in your immediate permanent ban you and your and like half your guild. We also played Rogue as you can recall was a completely game breaking uh, class. You just uh, put a couple bombs, end your turn, all of a sudden you stack your X like excess and then you explode the boss. Uh, all of a sudden, boom, 6 million damage on August, boom, 6 million damage on Rushu. And nobody like uh, questioned the, but, like, uh, the insanity of this uh, class. Like uh, nobody said, hey, that's bug abuse, you shouldn't be doing that. But uh, it was like in the game for three years and uh, nobody got banned for it. So like, how do you tell? We also had the Hopper rework, which was uh, also absolutely insane, uh, insane broken. We uh, you had Hollow that uh, used to wipe out rooms. You like oh, like you just uh, uh, like use Hollow on like a barrel, uh, like a panda barrel, a summon, and you just like kill the barrel and like everything just perishes around it. Uh, if you like stack the Hollow. Uh, like in a good way, like uh, if you just uh, put like put everything in the area of damage, area of effect, uh, and it used to just wipe the whole room out, uh, and like bosses included, by the way, and like nobody really said, hey, that's a bug, but like it got patched by developers, the next uh, pa like hotfix, and nobody got banned. They it was just a newly released class that people played and had some OP broken interactions. It also had triple damage arrow, right? uh, light arrow on ultimate bosses that people used in Roshu as well to score good scores like 18 million and nobody got banned. It got uh, just uh, patched in, a, in a, just a normal uh, hotfix and uh, just not, like nobody got permanently banned. So like, uh, what is the line that you d like draw between absolutely game-breaking bugs that get you permanently banned 
and weird interactions that you should just report or they like they would just get patched uh, like at some point by the developers when they have the time or the chance to fix them um, there was like also other bugs that we can just mention like uh, the 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 honey bug uh, in like boss rifts where people abused for like literally two years like i personally reported for developers and they just didn't even reply for me and people kept abusing it uh, and like one day a guy also uh, made a video about it on youtube and boom it's uh, fixed the next uh, hotfix did the guy get banned no did anybody get banned because like half the server used it by the way half the server used uh, a bonus that gave you um 10 mp and 20 uh, 200 di nobody got any permanent bans you feel me uh so like uh, it's just uh, completely unjustified and uh, you have to realize that you cannot just uh, hand out permanent bans to people like that. You have to take it in steps. You, like you have to research. Is the, is the bug like, uh, is this labeled as a bug or like a weird interaction? Is it game breaking? Is it like, is like are the people using it aware of it being a bug? Or like, like are they like uh, actively abusing a bug? You can't just uh, just boom permanently ban them like just wipe them out. Uh, you can hand out warnings like like uh, hey, you uh, recently abused uh, an interaction that you should have reported to the uh, to the developers. Please be more careful next time and let us know if you find any uh, abnormally strong interactions that we should be aware of. You feel me? That's how you should that's how you should treat your player base. You don't wipe them off the map. Just because they played your game and then found out, uh, like uh, they found out about a strong interaction and you didn't like it, and you get mass reports from certain people about it, and you just decided to just uh, bring down the hammer on these innocents. Um, so like uh, we we sent a ticket for the support, which we got like ignored for like four days or something. Uh, they replied for us uh, after a week after sending them, and they just uh, the support so far. Their first answer. Okay, like I don't want to uh, say that they were completely incompetent, but so far we got like all of us got a complete copy paste answer telling us that we abused the bug and uh, that, that we deserve the sanction that we got. Uh, either it is three days, two weeks, permanent. All of us deserve the sanction that we got. And it, like it looks like a copy paste. Like they just uh, they said the same thing for every one of us. And we said like... Uh, we sent around seven tickets or like eight or something and all got the same response after a week. So just not trying to say that com like uh, Uncommon Support is incompetent or disconnected or like uh, helpless, uh, but I'm just trying to say that's what we got after a week of waiting, a copy paste answer. And we sent them more tickets and we, we like we will see what they answer, answer us with. So uh, that's uh, th like that's what's happened uh, basically uh, like uh, before a week ago, and that's what we like what we ended up with, uh, where we got uh, completely wiped out, and the people who like supposedly reported us like had a blast. By the way, they had a very fun time uh, mocking us and like like you know like having a good time. They just like like they just had uh, had the night out basically. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, really unfortunate that it came like down to this. Uh, like um, I never imagined myself getting banned over playing the game. Like uh, you feel me? Just uh, having a fun time with my friends in August server. Like for the uh, for the first time, enjoying like my time with like other people. You feel me? Because I usually six box. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's what happened. And I wanted to to explain it to give context to. Uh, expose the un like injustice when it comes to this ban and uh, this decision that was taken by Ankama recently to permanently ban uh, all of us like the six people who took Frank Wanarushu and it wasn't even uh, like uh, an insane run or like an insane un unbeatable score it was nothing more than uh, above like slightly above average so yeah thank you for listening and uh, I hope to see you again in game after we get unbanned. If uh, if not, then I'll probably not uh, not be around for a while. Thank you guys and have a good day. Peace.